nice even burn. So what I'm gonna do is destroy that even burn, make it so it's running like absolute crazy. So you click this video because your joint is currently running and you want to know how to fix it. Well, thanks to the team at Weedlinks, I'm going to show you guys a few tips and tricks to stop it from happening in the first place and if it does happen, how to fix it. So obviously the first thing I'm going to need is some cannabis. Right here I got some cannabis rolled up perfectly rolled so there is no running going on so what i'm going to do right now is something i'd never suggest you guys do is to cause a run on purpose so we could talk about how we're going to fix it so let me just take this lighter put it right to the side of the paper go all the way down and cause just an awful awful run that no one wants to deal with look at that Look at that awful run, just ruining the joint, ruining the smoking experience. So a few ways to make sure you don't get a run in the first place. Number one is going to be make sure your roll is nice and consistent. You want to make sure that there's no weird pregnant spots, no spots that have no cannabis so it starts to canoe. You want to make sure it's nice and even the entire way down. And if it isn't, roll it between your fingers. Roll the cannabis around and make sure it's evenly distributed to stop from getting canoes in the first place. Now something else that causes canoes is going to be people that take massive, huge draws. As you guys see in my videos, I take pretty small hits, maybe about one or two seconds on the inhale, and then we exhale. But if I were to take a super long draw, chances are it's going to make the joint start running. So let me show you right here. Oh, Jesus. <coughs> First of all, <coughs> absolutely massive puff. My God. But look at that. <coughs> look at this awful run we have. Just, just ruining the smoking experience, making it so that you're wasting weed. So now let's talk about how to fix it. If you do end up getting a run, how are you going to fix it? But before we talk about that, I want to talk about today's sponsors because I am so stoked to have them on board. Not only because they're sponsoring a video, but because what they offer is actually freaking dope. They offer the exact same cannabis that all the LPs are offering at a better price. Eh? The same cannabis at a better price. Like, I don't know about you guys. Maybe you guys are super rich and you love just spending your money and throwing it away. But I am not rich in the slightest. I love looking for deals and I don't even have to look anymore. Weed Links has all the best deals, all the best cannabis in one freaking place. They've done all the work for me. So huge shout out to the team at Weed Links. Definitely go check them out. I'll put the, 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 the link in the description. I'll put the link in the title. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a discount code for you guys. So definitely check that out. Making the cheapest weed even cheaper. But like, I just had to give them a shout out. I just had to explain exactly what they offer. Because like, I mean, it doesn't get much better. The exact same cannabis at a better price. Huge shout out to Weed Links. So now, let's go back to how to fix a run. So let me kind of light this bad boy again, and we'll go back and cause another disgusting, atrocious run so I could tell you guys how to fix it. So here we have 
our nice joint, nice even burn. So what I'm gonna do is destroy that even burn, make it so it's running like absolute crazy, just this awful canoe going on. There we have it, as you can see. We are back to having our crazy canoe. So if you've tried everything, you've tried your best, you're taking small puffs, and you were very careful while rolling, keeping everything consistent, but your joint still canoed somehow, what you're gonna do is take either saliva or water and just dab a little bit right, right at the bottom of where it's canoeing. So just a little dab and you see right there, right at the bottom, right where it ends, right where the burn ends, I'm just gonna, without burning myself, you don't wanna get too close, but we're just gonna put some saliva there and not only that, that's step one. Step two is keeping the run on the bottom of your joint so that all the saliva doesn't roll around the joint and go to other places. It stays where you need it to be because that is going to stop the run. By putting a little bit of water or saliva right where the run has started, you stop it from burning there and it starts burning everywhere else instead and slowly starts catching up. Now you might have to reapply a few times, not the end of the world, but try not to reapply right before you hand the joint to someone else. Let them reapply so that they're smoking their own saliva because it can get a little bit wonky. Now, if you really don't want to put saliva and you don't have any water around, there is another way to fix a run, but it's definitely not the best way and you definitely lose a little bit of cannabis. But what you can do is just spot the run and burn the other. So instead, right now what we did is I put saliva where the run was. The other way to fix it is to put fire where the run isn't. So what I'm gonna do is just burn everything that hasn't already burnt and pretty much catch up the entire joint to where the run is. So yes, I'm definitely losing cannabis when doing this, but it just, it smokes so much better having a cherry that is uniform and consistent and it really changes the smoking experience when you have a run. So it might be worth actually fixing the run, whether it be rolling the joint properly in the first place, whether it be taking smaller puffs, whether it be putting a little bit of saliva or water, dabbing it right where the run is, or lighting on fire the place where there is no run and letting it catch up. You now have four different ways to make sure your joint never runs again. So that's been today's episode. Huge shout out to the team at Weed Links. Definitely go check them out. Not only because it helps me out, mostly because it'll help you guys out. If you guys want to save money, I highly suggest it. But for now, that's been today's episode of Canadian Cannabis. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope to see you next time. And as always, peace and love. Cheers.